Hi, I'm Carl Lewis, and this is the Bet Central Podcast. Okay, welcome back to the Bet Central Podcast, powered by Bet Coza. I'm back with our resident cricket punter, Juanele Poswayo, and we are previewing the second semi final between England and India at the Adelaide Oval. The winner will meet Pakistan. That match has just ended. And a couple of our bets landed there. Trent Ball, China, 3D, although we picked our winner wrong and we got one or two others uh, wrong, but at least we got a few few right there. So hoping for a full house today. Uh, that Kane Williamson bet, uh, that was unfortunate because uh, Mitchell just came out, beat him by, I think, like seven, eight runs to be the top batsman. Um, so we were close. It wasn't like you were far off, uh, Lonelli. So you actually did pretty well. But... We have a second semi-final at Adelaide. I think the the ground, the average for the ground is 157 first inning score. And apparently there is a bit of a toss bias, at least in this tournament, because the the team batting first have won four of the five batting at this venue. So intriguing. I'm very interested to hear how you see this playing out, Lonele. But before we get into that, how are you? I'm doing okay. Thanks, Carl. Um yeah, but very confident, very confident uh, for the for this match. Um, I did relatively well for the first semi final. Mm. Um, but looking at this one, um, I think um, I have full confidence in all of my bets. Okay, okay, all right. Well, let's uh, set the scene. What's your thoughts before I start getting into all the the specific bets? How are you feeling about this game, Adelaide Oval? Just your thoughts. Um, this game for me is a bit easier to call. Um, than the first semi-final between Pakistan and um, Pakistan and New Zealand, but the the only mm. problem is the is the toss bias, like you said. Um, mm. Teams that bat first um, at the ground usually go on to win, and England do have a slight problem with their with their chasing. They're not a really good chasing side. They've won four, uh-huh. they lost thirteen T Twenty internationals when chasing. Oh wow! India on the other, India on the other hand have won nineteen. Um, have actually mm. chased um, 19 times in the past two years and have won 16 of those matches. Damn, so that's impressive. It doesn't doesn't really look good for for England when you look at those stats. Um, there's also other issues that England are facing coming into this game. Um, there's also the huge talking point about uh, them playing on a on a used pitch, which might suit India a uh, slower, might be uh, similar to the subcontinent uh, conditions. So not looking too good for, for England, but you never know, man. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into the bets. Uh, where do you want to start off? Um, I'm going to start off with a man that has done pretty well for me in this World Cup, and that is Virat Kohli. Kohli. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, he, he's the man. Like I said, he's the man for the big occasion. He always steps up for, for India in the big mm. games, and this is definitely a big game. Yeah. Um. Like you said, uh, with picking, actually it was before before this podcast, uh, before we started recording. Sometimes it's 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 uh, not that easy to pick a top batsman because someone else might just um, pop, score pop more them, runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm. score more runs than your pick. So I've gone for Virat Kohli to score fifty plus runs, um, which is at three point five. Uh, mm. You could also you could also go for him to be top batsman, but I feel like um, yeah. fifty plus runs fifty plus runs is a lot more safer because mm. there's this, there's this other guy called uh, Surya Kumar Yadav who could Ooh, um, man he, is ripping it up. Yeah, he could easily be India's top batsman. So the safer bet will be Virat Kohli to score fifty plus runs. Um, there's not a lot that I need to say to explain this bet. Um, like I said, he he, he performs when when India um, need him. Um, the big games and knockout games. He's the leading run scorer in the tournament. Mm. He's had a fantastic tournament. Another important factor is um, his record at uh, the Ad- Adelaide Oval. In the previous game, he he scored a, a fantastic, I uh, can't remember, that, fantastic 64 of 44 balls against Bangladesh. Um, we mm. already knew that his record was good and the, in at the Adelaide Oval didn't disappoint. So I have to go with him again. Uh, Virat Kohli to score fifty plus runs, but there's okay. one more bet that um one more bet that I'm looking at, which is for him to be the player of the match, especially if you're ah. gonna back India, you're gonna back India to to win this game. 
Virat okay. Kohli looks like a good bet, and those odds at are at eight. So yeah, yeah, I'll go for that too. Okay, okay, I like. Okay, where to next? Sticking with India, I'm going to go with another man that um, hasn't really disappointed me in this World Cup, and that is Ashdeep Singh. Ashdeep. To be India's, to be India's top bowler, which is at four. Or, mm. like I said, if you want to go for a safer bet, um, for him to take over 1.5 wickets, which um, landed for us in the previous game, or in the previous game mm. against, uh, which was, which game did they play? Um, but it doesn't matter, but the previous game yeah. that, um, that landed for us, um, I feel mm. like he's already taken 10 wickets in the Super 12. He's bowling well. He bowls well at the death. Um, he might come up against a struggling uh, in England middle order. They haven't really done well in this tournament. So him bowling at the death, him opening the bowling as well, um, there's a, a lot of opportunities for him to take some wickets. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can't mess with the winning formula. Ashdeep and Virat Kohli have uh, been doing the business for us. So I'm quite happy with that. And oh, on the Virat Kohli thing, much like Ashdeep, he also has a run line of 25.5 and we backing him to score runs and, and make his presence felt in the semifinal. So that is also at 1.86, obviously. Um, that's also a decent bet um, if you want to mitigate that risk. Okay, where to next then? I'm going to go to England, uh, start with the bowlers. Um, I fancy Sam Curran for this game. Another reason is um, similar to uh, Ashdeep Singh. Mm. Um, he's been bowling really well at the death for England. He's been quite a, re a revelation in this World Cup for mm. England. I, I really didn't expect him to do so well. Mm. And yeah... Um, it's, it's a bit, it's a tricky one. So I don't want to back him to be the top bowler because um, there are other op other options for England. So I'll, I'll yeah. go for the over one point five wickets, which is yeah. at two point two five, and I think that yes, that there's nice great value, value there. there. Yeah. Mm, mm. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I was struggling with um, England's batting because there hasn't really been a consistent performer in terms of their batting. But um, I've gone with Alex Hales to score over 21.5 runs, which is at 1.86. Um, he's been England's best batsman at this World Cup, even though he hasn't been um, the most thrilling or consistent. But he has scored yeah. the runs, 125 yes. runs in the World Cup. So mm. I feel like this, I like is a, this is a good bet, yeah. I, um, I, I like Alex Hales, and I had a feeling uh, pre-tournament that he was going to do well. So yeah. Uh, I, I quite like that bet a lot. What is next on your agenda? Um, yeah, this game, this game, I did expect it to be to be a, a high scoring game, um, but after like seeing um, or doing a lot of research, I did realize that it might not be a high scoring game, especially playing on a on a used pitch in a semi final. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm going for the highest individual score to be under 65.5, which is at mm. 1.86. Um, I I I feel like this this semi final could go similar in a similar way as the uh, the first semi final where you don't really get the big scores. Yeah. Uh, so it could be like you could get like the average uh, first inning scores that you mentioned, which was 157. One, yeah. Um, yeah. So we could get like a 160 in that. So I couldn't I wouldn't see a, a player. Getting over one hundred and getting over sixty six point five runs. You're gonna go for but the unders, not, yeah. Yeah, I'll go for the unders there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Do you have anything else for this game? Because I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna end off with by asking you for a winner. Who are you backing? Which I, I get the feeling you're gonna say India. <laughs> um, I've got one more. Um, okay. And I'm pretty confident in this one, and that is okay. for India to score the most runs in the power play. Um, the numbers mm -hmm. back them up. They've scored um, the most runs in the power play in six of their oh, last okay. seven T20 internationals. Also, they have a very good economy rate when bowling in the, in the power play, which is the best in the World Cup at 5.7. That's so a good stat. It, so it yeah. kind of, um, it's, um, I don't know how to explain it, but the bowling really I, helps this. Um, yes, this bet, yeah. Stat. Not, it's not just their yeah. batting. Yeah. Because Thanks, India, uh, England do have a, I mean, I rate Hales and Butler, well, on their day. They are destructive. But I think the, the stats is telling us that this Indian side can bowl well, um, especially when Bhuvi and Ashti are swinging it both ways at will. It's not easy to, to get going. 
And yeah, exactly. with the Hitman, um, with the Hitman, perhaps uh, they can do something. Although, you know, KL and Vira, sometimes they are a bit slow starters, but you, like you said, the stats really point to this bet. And to go against this, I think to back England in, in this one um, would really be a brave call. Uh, not stupid, but brave considering um, the stats. So I, I, I like this one. No wonder you, you're feeling confident about this one because the data is telling us. Um, yeah. yeah. Plus, okay. plus England haven't yeah. really looked um, at their best with the, with the bat. Um, they haven't scored the, the amount of boundaries that we all expect from England. So yeah, yeah that's, one, that's another reason. Okay, now let's get into predictions, Brew. What are you thinking? Um, I think I think it's it's written in the stars. Um, never mind the the stats. Um, we're gonna have a Pakistan India final. Um, even though like this, I don't I don't see how um, England win this game unless maybe they they bat first, put on a, a, a huge total. But this that also suits India because India are really are a really good chase. Um, yeah chasing side. So I don't really see England winning winning this game. So I'm going for. India to win it, and the the odds aren't that low or aren't that bad at one point eight. So yeah, yeah, India for there's me. value there. There's still yeah. decent enough value. It's it's moved down because I think a lot of uh, people are backing uh, India. It's moved to one point seven six. So get your bets in early before the 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 price goes even lower, uh, where you are not getting the value you really want. But I guess that's that, uh, Lonelli. I also believe in sport telling stories and yeah. putting together perfect finals and you know India Pakistan it's written there and uh, you know Pakistan have also won a World Cup albeit in 92 in Australia so there's a lot of other storylines you can take from history and uh, geopolitical stuff um, so yeah excited for the second semi-final and obviously we'll have our final preview um, later this week for the final. So, Ranele, thank you so much, and we will chat very soon. Cool, Carl. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm.